Big Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from a Western Kentucky cornfield where a new model year 2020 Kloss 7500 TerraTrack Combine is harvesting the 2019 corn crop. In this video, we're going to take an in-depth look at the new 1230C 12-row chopping corn head that this combine is running. I had an opportunity to interview Jeff Gray from Kloss about this new 30 foot wide corn head. You may remember Jeff from the 2019 National Farm Machinery Show where I talked with him about the new Kloss Conveyo Flex Draper head. That header is very interesting because it has auto flex which allows it to harvest at the lowest level possible and if you're running in good standing small grains it runs as a rigid head and when you run into grain that is flat on the ground it automatically begins to flex to shave it off the ground and then can again automatically return to the rigid setting to harvest the standing crop. I will put a link to the Kloss Conveyo Draper Head interview in the description area of this video but let's head out to the field to see this class 7 403 horsepower 385 bushel Kloss Combine running the 12 row chopping corn head and then we'll talk to Jeff about all of its features. Jeff, we were talking about the draper head, but you've also got this updated corn head for the Kloss Combines. What can you tell us about this? Yep, the new series of corn head we introduced last year when we introduced the Condio Flex Draper. Uh, it's a continuation of the same row unit uh, that we've had. Um, we don't want to mess with a good thing. This has been working for us very well for the last 20 years. The knife-to-knife the -knife action, the tapered gathering chains that actually minimize shatter as the, as the knife rollers take over, the chains pull back away so it minimizes the shatter going on, especially in very dry conditions where you might have tops that want to break out. Uh, so we, we're capitalizing on that, continuing to use that, but what we added to it, what we changed for the new header is we gave it dual-sided deck plates, so that keep main, keeps that stock continually centered on those knife rolls uh, as you adjust your, your deck plates. We've also got more uh, auto contour sensors under the heads to make that respond more quickly and more accurately as we uh, travel over changing terrain. I got to see it really go over a big hump out there in the field today and it was neat to see how the tracks followed up and how the corn head auto adjusted right. to yeah, get over that. If you watch the videos you'll see this field is very rolling and that's a great place to test out our auto contour system on here. Uh, we've, uh, we no longer have uh, uh, grease circs on the end of the knife rolls so that makes it uh, that make less maintenance that's something customers really appreciate and back here on the ends of the on the ends our main drives for the corn head uh, no longer are they chain drives they're actually gear driven so the only thing the operator has to do is just check in the sight glass and make sure that you got the uh, the appropriate uh, uh, fluid level in the uh, in the sight gauge so There's the sight glass yep uh, so no no more tensioning the chains on here so just keep stay on top of your fluid level and uh, she'll run good for you. Um, you'll also notice right here that the, uh, we have the, uh, the, 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 the augers on the end dividers, so the down crop augers, so when we're running through some, some tough conditions where the tops are broke out or you got lodge crop, these will keep that, uh, the stalks from, from hairpinning over the end dividers and keep them fed back into the, into the header actively. Um, if you choose not to go with the active augers, you can get a passive system, a riser that raises up, and deflects those stalks back into the header as well. Oh, so it looked raise, like it raise up. did a really nice job out there. And also, it's easy to access. This folds up the auger yeah. and everything to so you can get there down to the chains. That's and right. 
with, right? So all the snouts, they, they fold up. They are, they're all assisted with, uh, with gas struts, so it makes flipping them up a lot easier and uh, so makes maintenance a lot easier on the, on the header. So. Sure. Can we take a look under there? Or? Sure, yeah. sure. I'm pop this up. Flip the, uh, so there you can see the, uh, see right down to the chain. So there's the uh, there's the taper gathering chain right here. So you can see how the how it tapers backwards. So as the knife rolls take over, the chains pull away, uh, so not to uh, engage with the stock so much and cause any any breakage of the stocks. So it's going to pick a lot cleaner that way. You're going to have a lot less foreign matter going into the combine when using these tapered style chains. And another thing that's interesting about our corn head is you'll notice the front sprockets. And this is we've always had this is that they protrude out from underneath the uh, snouts. And uh, the benefit of that is, is especially when you get into down corn, that's going to feed a lot more positively when you can actually get those teeth out from under the snout and capture those down stalks and help feed that material, get it threaded up into the row unit. That's sometimes a challenge. Um, if we could get it threaded into the row unit uh, by the gathering chains, that you'll, you may not need to use uh, uh, down corn reels um, if we can get it threaded. And that's the great thing of having these uh, these front idlers protruding out from under the under Oh, That's the a nice setup. I hope to never actually see an action, but I suspect <laughs> at some point I'll get oh, that yeah. opportunity. Yep. So I know the farmer that has it will appreciate sure. getting that crop sure. picked up. Sure. And this is actually a chopping corn head. So um, we're continuing with our tri-blade rotor. Uh, the advantage of the tri-blade rotor is we get 50% more chop per revolution than two, than two uh, blade choppers. So uh, we're getting more chop going on down underneath there. So that's what, that's what differs us from, uh, from our competitors is our three-blade rotor. So I can see this header lifts up pretty nice and high and we can look at the uh, blades under here that actually do the chopping on the mm -hmm. stalks. Yep. So yep, we're using the, here's the tri-blade rotor right here you can see, so 50% more chop per revolution. It's going to help us uh, get a little, resize the uh, stalks better and uh, give us a little bit more smaller, smaller particle out there if necessary. Well, I know everybody looks at this green corn we're shelling right now here in Kentucky, but the corn's ready to go. It's just you put fungicide on it, you make mm -hmm. those plants stronger, it stays greener. That's right. Stronger, so it's nice to have these chopping blades to help break yep. it down because yep. we're putting winter wheat over all this ground and mm -hmm. you want to break it up. You can see the combine and the header are doing a very nice job just clearing the field off, shredding the stalks. Let's take a look at what's left behind or what's not left behind. We can look over here and see how the stalks are shredded. They're left open to help decay. It's a, doing a great job there. We can look down here and see there really isn't a lot of corn left behind uh, there's you know a couple kernels right there in my shadow but overall it's doing a great job nothing left out here in the field except for the stalks and the leaves of the plant I hope you've enjoyed learning about and seeing the Kloss 12 row 1230C chopping corn head in action. Watch for additional videos talking with Jeff from Kloss about the new generation of Lexian combines and what they have to offer for harvesting features. If you would like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube 
where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.